winter in Iowa. I'm gonna review this jacket that I have on here, but first I need to get an espresso from uh, Sarah's Coffee, an espresso shop, because they're really that good. Thank you. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> See ya. So I finally decided to opt for a proper winter jacket because I've never owned one, ever. And I've definitely never owned a jacket this expensive. Now, gotta give props to mom. She gave me an early Christmas present. That's how I got it because I probably wouldn't have bought this jacket. But uh, I bought Storm a jacket, but myself, I'll just freeze. And that's just uh, what I'll do. So this is Patagonia's Tote Play Winter Jacket. The outer shell is Patagonia's Performance Standard H2NO. So this is 100% waterproof Gore-Tex outer shell. So it just doesn't have that um, down on the outside. The inner is 700 fill goose and duck down feathers. So it's extremely, extremely warm. It's rated for negative degree weather. I had it underneath my Patagonia mid-layer fleece and it was really, really warm. Probably too warm for today. It's only about 35, 40 degrees today. But this jacket, it was really, really warm. Patagonia uses a recycled system. So a lot of their older jackets that people return or don't want anymore, they give back. They recycle that and they turn it into newer products. And that's what this jacket is. It's uh, made from recycled materials. Uh, so Patagonia does this whole thing eco-friendly. It's really, really cool. Some of the reasons why I went with this other than the North Face jacket is what we're going to talk about next. One of the biggest reasons I went with this jacket other than the North Face jacket that I'll show you in the B-roll here is the fact that this hoodie is one, removable. So it has that zipper there and it's got a couple of buttons here on the side. You just unbutton those off and you can remove the hood, thus giving it the um, opportunity to dress it up so you can wear it with a suit you can wear it with more casual clothing and without that hood on there or you can just leave it on doesn't really matter if it's cold you know you kind of probably gonna need the hood but it gives you that extra look if you need it to be dressed up a little bit uh, the jacket is got minimum branding so that's one thing that i really liked about it it's just got the patagonia there it's really really clean looking on the outside and it's a very casual looking jacket and it doesn't like, again, I don't like that puffy look on just the outside of the jacket. I want it to be just on the inside. Uh, it's got a lot of little hidden features and details, which is why I went with this other than the North Face. The North Face jacket, you can remove the down part of it and it comes apart from the outer Gore-Tex shell, which is waterproof also. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted a very specific jacket. I wanted just a winter jacket. I didn't want something I could, you know, use for different occasions. This is a very specific jacket. It's for cold weather. That's what I need it for. I don't want it to come apart. I don't need all of that. And the other biggest, bigger seller selling point for me was the fact that the hood liner is also the goose and duck fill, 700 fill. The North Face jacket did not have that. It just had the hood and it just had like material like this on the inside. It didn't have its down feathers um, material on the inside of the hood and it was also not removable so that was one of the biggest selling points for me i you know uh, the jacket fits really really well as you'll see in some b-roll and i'll put it on here in just a minute when i'm done talking about some of the other uh features and details um but you know the fact that the hood comes off it is just awesome to me it has a fleece liner around the collar here so it makes it very comfortable around the collar. And then also when you zip the jacket up fully, it has a fleece liner right there for your chin so it doesn't bother your chin or anything like that. Uh, the jacket comes with YKK zippers. So very durable zipper. Um, you know, YKK zippers are pretty much an industry standard for highly, higher quality products, especially in backpacks and bags and all that. And when you see them on jackets, it's just, just another, um, added detail to make it a better, higher quality jacket that will last you a long time. Now this jacket is $400. And for some of you who may be questioning that, like, oh, it's a $400 jacket, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. 
you know, think of it like this. You could buy a $100 jacket or a $90, $60 jacket, and then probably more than likely in a few years, you're gonna buy one again and need something else and it's not gonna be as warm. This is a jacket that you buy that you're gonna keep for a lifetime. It's got a lifetime guarantee. Patagonia will always take care of it. They will always fix it. They'll replace it if needed. And so you have that ironclad guarantee from Patagonia. Um, you know, I'm not saying that North Face or some and Arteryx or some of these other companies don't have that, but you know, like Columbia or some of those lower end jackets may not be one as warm and two have that guarantee. And some of those like other jackets too are a little bit trendy. Uh, this is just really clean again. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I, I went with this one. Now I got to give a big shout out to mom for buying this jacket for me as an early Christmas present. I really, really desperately needed a jacket. I have lots of jackets for being living in the city and city life and buildings, but you know, a lot of times I go and walk the dog. We go on nice 50 minute, 55 minute hour long walks and I needed something that's gonna keep me warm. Also to go hiking and fishing and just different things that I do. I wanted something durable that I wouldn't have to worry about tearing or ripping or anything like that. And if it did, I wanted something that I could get replaced and not have a hassle. So that was one of the biggest reasons why I went with this as well. The price point of this jacket, yes, it's, it's $400, but North Face, Arteryx, uh, Canadian Goose, all these jackets like that are in the ranges between $300, $600, $800. So this, for the quality and what you're getting, is right there with um, the other competitors. And so I don't think that $400 is um, a, a, like a huge deal you shouldn't really be worried about that especially if it's something you're going to keep potentially for the rest of your life or five five or six years you're going to get a lot of use out of this at least i am uh so that was one of the reasons why i went with something that's a higher quality other than some cheap jacket that i'm just going to not like or not keep me warm it's very cold in iowa it reaches negative 40 last year out here i haven't experienced that yet but if it does i didn't want to wait till then so which is why my mom got me the present early, which, uh, you know, again, big shout out to mom, very blessed for that. Uh, so thank you, mom. Another really cool thing is like, you see these like zippers, it has that, um, that waterproof there, that little, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's, it's waterproof and it's really, really nice that it has that feature because it keeps the water and dirt out. Also it has the zipper cover, which keeps uh, wind and dirt and water out of your pocket, which is really nice. Um, and this is a nice big pocket. I'll probably keep my phone in there or your wallet or, or stuff like that. These pockets down here, they're just buttons. Those are like glove pockets. You would keep like your gloves in there. Those are also fleece lined. So really nice and comfortable. If you want to keep your hands warm, you want to throw some hand warmers in there. Um, you want to keep gloves in there or a hat or something like that. It's on, those are on both sides. The other side has this pocket here that you know you can zip down and keep a phone in. It's got the little access port for wires if you need to, you know, if you don't have wireless earbuds, I don't know who doesn't anymore, but that feature is there if needed. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and it does not have that pocket. Like I said, it's very clean looking, minimum type of, uh, you know, stuff that's all over it that makes it look kind of ugly in my opinion. It's really nice and clean, which is why you can dress this jacket up. So you got the flat pockets on both sides and then you also have your pocket here. You could just, you know, warm up your hand a little bit if you're not wearing gloves or if you are, you can just, you know, you have that option there and those are also fleece lined. The main zipper, and we're just gonna throw this on. There's the hood. And this is, this Carnegie's really looks nice with this too and it keeps it really nice and warm. So putting the jacket on, you can see it, it fits really, really nice. It, it's, you know, it's a puffy jacket on the inside. So it keeps you really nice and warm and insulated. One thing that's really nice is the YKK zipper on the front. And then also it has that storm flap to keep water, wind and rain out of away from the zipper. So that's the storm flap. And if you need to, you can zip that all the way up. I never do that. You know, it's a bit tight, but if you need to do that, you know, you can go ahead and have fully zipped up. Not something I'm gonna ever do. 
Also, one really cool feature is these sleeves. So they're kind of shorter on this side and longer. So it does like kind of, it looks like this. I'll show you in a minute that, but it has these really nice um, flappy things here. I don't even know what they're called, but if you want to tighten that up, you can do that. So it makes it, you know, nice and tight. I just like it loose because I like to wear gloves. And that also gives it a nice casual look as well. And then, like I said, if you need to take the hoodie off, the hood off, you can do that and then dress this jacket up. So when I originally went to try this jacket on, I was under the impression that I was gonna have mid layers underneath it, like a Patagonia fleece or a North Face fleece, or maybe even this beautiful Carnegie underneath it uh, to keep me extra warm if needed. And so I went ahead and I bought a large. And then when I got home and I was out walking the dog last night, I realized that the large wasn't so tight. Um, in this area and in my back and there was a lot of dead space in there and it was getting that cold air was just kind of floating around inside my chest area and back and that's kind of not what you want with a jacket you want it to be nice and tight and so as you can see it really fits nice and tight it doesn't make me look boxy or anything like that it fits nice around the shoulders nice around the sleeves when you're driving your car the sleeves are are, are really nice the large was just really really too too big and made me look boxy so you want to make sure the jacket's gonna fit so for a reference in sizing this is a medium i'm 5'9 167 pounds with the anticipation of gaining about 170 pounds i still think this jacket would fit just fine again the large was just too big too much dead space inside the chest area and that's where you want to keep warm your, your arms will take care of themselves you got to keep your chest nice and warm so that's that's kind of what you want there Another really cool feature is on the bottom of the jacket here, you see these, uh, you can cinch the bottom of the jacket down. So if it's really windy and you're getting that cold air that's coming up underneath the jacket, you can cinch that down and keep it locked into your body. So it keeps the bottom of the jacket nice and tight to you and you don't have to worry about the cold air coming up into the jacket. So that's a nice feature and also the hoodie, the hood, does that as well. You can cinch the hood down and keep it nice and tight around your face. And you know, if that's something that you're interested in doing, it also has that feature. One thing that I also thought was really cool is how easy this jacket was to put on. So like I said, I got the large because I figured I'm gonna be putting a layer like this on or a fleece and it, you know, could be hard to put on. And you know, I don't wanna be, you know, putting it on and struggling and having it too tight. And you know, one thing that they designed this jacket is for, is for that exact reason. So it's very easy to put on, your arms just slip in. And when you take your arms out, they, they don't like bring the sleeve back in like some jackets would. So make sure, like again, make sure you get the jacket to fit you because you're not gonna have to worry about it getting too tight in there. It's gonna feel really nice and snug and that's how it's supposed to fit. Uh, so again, on the sleeves here, you can see how it's kind of like goes up and it gives you that extra sleeve on the top of your wrist there, which is, which is really nice. It looks really nice and clean. So if you guys are finding this video of some value, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing another video of my whole winter gear setup. You'll probably see that video released tomorrow. At some point I might film it today. So make sure you hit the notification bell because I do a lots of videos like this where I review jackets and talk about um, different seasonal gear. And I'm out in a lot colder environment this year where it's a lot colder than where I'm from. So uh, I have a whole different setup from my uh, last year's video that I did. So if you're interested in cold weather gear and looking for um, ways to style that or, or whatever, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so you'll get that notification when I release that video. So for me, the decision to get a jacket like this wasn't that hard. I spend a lot of time outside. And like I said, I leave my apartment complex, which is back there. And I walk the dog and it's nothing but open fields and farmland. So, you know, it's there's no buildings blocking the wind or anything. And not only do I just, you know, need it, something for when I walk the dog but I also like to go hiking uh, I like to be outside a lot just just do different activities and I don't want to be freezing my ass off
So overall on the raindrops rating, I'm gonna give this thing a 10 out of 10. It's an absolutely gorgeous jacket. It's a staple piece I'm gonna keep for a lifetime. Not something that I'm gonna have to buy for a very, very long time, if ever. A winter jacket like this is an absolute must. Now, you know, there's pea coats, there's all kinds of different jackets you would wear with suits, but you know, for when it's snowing out or like, you know, different, different occasions or different things, but overall an everyday durable jacket, I think that this meets all the needs for, for me and what I need. You might need something different. Some of the reasons why you wouldn't want a jacket like this is if you're someone that's just looking for a jacket that you know, you're going out of the house to go to the supermarket, you're going to the house to the car, you know, maybe you're going to be out shoveling snow for 15, 20 minutes. You know, if you're someone like that, this, this probably isn't the jacket for you and you should look at something maybe a little bit cheaper or something that isn't, you know, um, I don't know, maybe something that's a little bit cheaper or something that's not like a name brand like Patagonia. But if you're someone who spends a lot of time outdoors hiking, walking your dog for hours at a time, uh, going out snowmobiles, skiing, uh, different activities outside in cold weather. This is the jacket that I would get. And especially with the versatility of it being able to remove the hood and dress the jacket up, that's a plus for me. So if you're someone like that who has my, my kind of mindset with that, this is the one. This is the Patagonia Toe Play is, is a really, really good, good buy. It's a good investment and you know, you shouldn't, don't have to worry about spending $400 on a jacket when you don't ever have to buy one again. So it's a, it's a big plus for me and I like it a lot. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So again, guys, I'll be releasing a video on all my winter gear next. So you guys can get an idea on how I'm going to survive this very frigid winter out here in Iowa that I'm not used to at all. So if you're into that and you want to see what I got going on, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, hit the notification bell, share the video. That's the best way to help the support the channel is to share and leave a comment if you have any suggestions, uh, you know, or any comments that you guys want to leave that appreciate it. I usually answer all of them or at least like them, um, you know, so that's where we're at and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Have a great rest of your weekend. Peace.